right, all right, all right. Welcome, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. And it's been quite a while since I've done a Madden breakdown video. But as you can see, this is a league game indicated by the username there in the top right corner. Every now and then, man, Madden will show you something that, you know, in my opinion, proves that the game has potential. It proves that the game does have, you know, underneath the hood fundamentals and such. It's just, to me, with Madden, you know, outside of some of the things that, you know, we all can identify are issues, it's about the consistency of these things. You know, how often or how well does this game play out what it's designed to do consistently? Not about making the play, but just consistently playing exactly what you expect it to do, whether you win or lose. First thing, of course, guys, we're going to do is look at the trenches, but obviously you see the highlight um, of this play will definitely be the interception. But, you know, I always start off here and I look at various parts of the, uh, you know, the play before I get into the, the, you know, the meat and potatoes of it. But this is a cover three, all right? And I ran a cover three out of base defense because of the formation uh, my opponent was putting out there earlier in the game. And I believe this was on like a second down or something like that. And, you know, I think he comes out in 11 personnel, I believe. No, it looks like it's still... Uh, this might be... I don't know if that's a, re a receiver or a tight end. So, to be honest, I can't tell. I think that is... Yeah, this is 11. This is 11 personnel, but I believe there's three receivers, one tight end, one back. But look at what guys are doing here. You know, and I indicated who I was controlling. So you guys know who I'm controlling is Devin Bush there. As you see, I jumped uh, Andrews here. Would be beautiful if the CPU did that. But again, that's me using control in that. But look at how this cover three coverage is playing. You know, they're doing exactly what I expected them to do. Now, right here, you know, Keller Witherspoon is just looking at the quarterback, which most of the times you're going to get that in zone coverage, you know, even in the real world, there's guys that continue to peak and kind of feel, you know, their, their receiver on the, on the side or the hip or what have you. Um, I do have a little bit of feedback here. I still think at times uh, the safeties drip back a bit too deep, even though they, they do have that drift, you know, drift logic now that's a little better. I still feel like sometimes they're going back way too far. I would like to see some of these guys, especially personality trait like a Minka, I'd like to see some of these guys sit down on their area uh, but again that's that's programming differences and you know differentiating how some guys play it how some guys don't that would be cool as well but really pay attention to number 20 here who is adrian phillips is who i have on my team here in year two in my um online league look at how he plays this he doesn't just play grass he locates the nearest threat this is the stuff I talk about all the time. You always hear me say, look for work. Look at this. Now, <laughs> we could debate whether or not he's supposed to catch it like that one-handed. But this is beautiful. Chuck him inside. He peeks to the left momentarily. Nothing's there. He peeks back and goes to the threat, reading the quarterback's eyes. That is outstanding. And these are the things that happens from time to time in the game. It just needs to be more consistent. All right, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click on that notification. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.